Miss him like a DJ. Your body pouring, lift it up on 32s. I feel like DJ. Conscious got a stimulus, that's 20k up off a of chime. He got in that room and folded. First time that he did a crime. Me and Glizzy, when I start our teeth, the nigga can't stop smiling. I be sipping what, taking meds, miss him like a DJ. Your body foreign, lift it up on 32s. I feel like CJ. You see the pins and hit the dash. I pass the stick like it's a relay. I got a navy, touch the glass, the funds are hit that. <laughs> Kid up on the charge, fucked around and hit the car. 32 gang, what's good, man? It's your boy CJ on 32s, and I'm back with another video. Now, I'm back with a video. This is actually not the video that I'm supposed to post today, but I'm kind of pissed off. So, you know, it's a vent video. So, if you don't want to hear me going on and on and on and listening to what I got to say, this ain't the video for you. Tomorrow's video is definitely for you. Um, we got out and we had some fun, actually. Actually, my day was going good. Y'all know I just came back from vacation with the kids and um, everybody, you know? So we had a damn good time, an exhausting time, but we had a good time. So basically, while I was out on vacation, um, I got a text. I got a text from Jim. Now y'all know I've been, took two or three of my cars over there to Jim. Um, Officer Coldwater introduced me to Jim. I actually knew Jim way before that, like, I was gonna take him a car a long time ago, but you know with me, y'all know I don't trust anybody with my cars. And um, yeah, so that was that, but I finally gave him a try. I like what he was doing and I put him on my platform and gave him a time to shine. So before I get into the messages that I'm gonna show y'all and tell y'all about, um, so y'all don't think I'm just whining or crying. Nah, this shit is like, to me, like I'm big on, on, on my pride and like disrespect. Some people might see shit different than how I see it, but I see it how I see it and I call it how I call it. So, you know, uh, you're entitled to your opinion. At the end of the day, I'm entitled to mine and feel the way that I feel. But I just want to let y'all know what's going on. Like, you heard it from me first before you hear anything else. I actually should have listened to Al, but yeah, that's another story. But listen, so before, like a lot of you guys, you, you always do this. Now, this is coming from my subscribers. And before y'all get to choosing all these sides, because I already know how some of your subscribers a turn against you. Some of your subscribers is not, they just won't shit back and forth. This is the only video, this is the only time I'm gonna talk about it. But I know how some of the subscribers is, like people y'all wouldn't even know or heard of if I didn't bring them to my platform. And then y'all try to go, go picking sides. But nah, you gotta understand me and hear me out and see where I'm coming from. But uh, yeah, this ain't no pick side shit, especially if you met somebody that you wouldn't have ever heard of or seen none of their work if it wasn't for me. But um, putting them on my platform, which I don't care. Like, I don't go around, Brad, oh, I put you on, I did, did, I did. No, I want to. That's that's what the world is about, networking and, um, you know, helping each other. You know what I'm saying? His shine was never going to block my shine or stop me. You know, I opened the world up to what he do. Like, his work ethic is great. But I'm the type of person, bro, once you fucking annoy me, like, don't annoy me. Like, don't piss me off, bro, because I don't play. Like, don't get on my nerves. Like, if just... A lot of people take your your humbleness and your kindness for like a weakness, bro. And I get real offended by certain shit because I ain't no fool. You know what I'm saying? I've been around on this earth for a long, long time, guys. So I don't like nobody feeling like they trying to use me or get over on me. Like once you do that, you're done. You know what I'm saying? Like I can't, I can't, that's one thing I can't stand, bro. Somebody trying to use and get over on you. So I built this platform. I've been on this shit for July 5th will make seven years, guys. So our first incident which was small i ain't think nothing of it like you know we talked it out or whatever so it was like you guys was coming to me telling me oh we already seen the gym posted on his channel so y'all know how this shit go this is my hustle this is my grind this is how i get paid can't do shit but respect that guys okay i don't care what type of work you're doing if i ain't give you the green light on my shit that i'm paying you to do work on and you know this is my job, this is what I do, don't post my shit. It's just that simple, we don't gotta do business together. It's either that or that, you know what I'm saying? So, um, you know, he was going ahead, he was posting his videos. I don't even think he had a, a 1K subscribers before I started showing his work and you know, that's already giving you the advantage putting you on my platform. You know how many people reach out to me and want, want to do this and want to do that, but I'm real, you know, selective because I don't got no cheap shit, I want, you know, the best. And I don't mind paying, like I don't need no discount, I don't need nothing. I just want to pay and get my services done. So, the first time, like I said, a lot of you guys was inboxing me like, oh, we already synced it. 
old Thirsty Jim posting your video. So I told him like, you can't post nothing about the cars until after I post the videos. You know, uh, I just gotta let them know like this. I know you excited and happy and everything. Your channel doing good and all that stuff, but don't post until after I post. You know, and that's that's the respectable thing, guys. Y'all know this. You know, this how I eat somewhat too. So um, shouldn't nobody be posting my shit but me. You know, it's, it's just a respect thing. So after that, probably like a couple days later, the man still sent me a text, bro. Like, can I post this or this? And I'm like, no, just wait till after. So I started getting irritated, you know what I'm saying? Then, like, I, we already had this discussion. Like, just chill, you going they gonna still come watch. Like, you still gonna do what you gotta do. But now you take it away from my, you know, my content. My viewers don't wanna see shit double. Y'all know how we all used to be together and vlog and y'all used to complain. I see this on Stunner channel, I see this on CJ channel. So it's like everybody brashed off and did their own thing. It's like, that's my surprise, let me show. You know what I worked hard for and what I'm paying for to my viewers that you got from me. So uh Yeah, that was that was like the second time. Now the third time, I'm gonna read this shit to y'all and then I'm gonna put it on the screen so you could I'm gonna put it on the screen for a second after I'm done reading it to you so you can reread it and you can suck it in and take it in how you wanna take it in. Um but like I said, everybody entitled to their opinion. Um but yeah, I don't like this shit. Let me get my phone. And then just like come in commenting about stuff, bro. Like talking about you could handle it this way or that way. I handle shit my way, you handle shit your way. I know when I'm irritated and when I feel disrespected. So remind you, yeah, he knows, everybody knows I'm out on vacation with my family, right? So I get this whole paragraph. It says, watch me vinyl wrap my Honda step one, project B. It says, CJ, I hope you are enjoying the sunshine in Florida. I want you to think about this business proposal. Listen good, guys. I want y'all to take this shit in. <laughs> I want you to think about this business proposal. You don't have to do much work to earn some cash. It's kind of like the Shark Tank, but it's not like the Shark Tank. Here it is on the video I sent you is part one of three or four series. I want you to promote the Project B on your channel but direct them to my channel. Now, this is where you got me fucked up at because I already do what I do by you doing my cars and sending my subscribers there, which I don't, you know, y'all always know I'll put so many people on, I don't care. I got put on, I put hella people on, probably more than any other YouTube. So yeah, I don't want to hear that shit. Uh, but direct them to my channel for the views. It's content for you, but also will boost my views at the end. You and I can make a reveal together. Here is how you make money. I will be transparent with you and show you all the money promotion B generates in the first one year. You get 20% of the net income. <laughs> guys, like come on guys, be for real. Do I look like do I look like a fucking fool? Like not saying it guys like I'm a high almighty but I don't need your shit I don't I got friends I got other people like I never done that for like I put them on a the platform and help them just like CJ he ain't say I'm gonna put you on and I'm gonna take my channel and give me 20% no like bro it don't shit just don't work like that so that's something else in this line that pissed me off because it feel like I'm gonna tell I'm gonna read it read it and then let y'all see why I felt like that way okay so it says please think about it this can be huge for both of us, and it's a different spin on your channel. First off, I don't need a different spin on my channel. I already got a different spin on my channel with my smart car. Like, I've been doing this shit, so I got my own lane. I got my own ideas. Y'all know I'm like a popular loner. I'm pretty much like by myself. Or I'm with Marty or my girl or my kids. Like, I don't really be doing all that extra shit, bro. I ain't that type of person. Like, I'm, I just want peace, and I just... Uh, you know, you can't... This is a prime example. Like, you give people a little taste of some shit, and they just... They don't, they don't know how to act, bro. They just don't know how to act, bro. So it says, we can make up a legal, easy contract if Project B is successful for future projects. Let me know your thoughts. It could be huge, my friend. Jim's Detailing Garage. <sighs> it's just so much shit that run my mind, guys. 
and a lot of shit that I just won't hold in and not gonna say on YouTube, but a contract, like, bro, you trying to think out a whole plan. Listen, first off, I don't even know this man. I've been taking my cars there for like two weeks. Two weeks, like, when I sent the message, I was with my family, so I, I looked at it and I was like, what the fuck? But then, once I got home, I, I instantly thumbed down it and just started thinking like, and it says, after that, okay, after that, I didn't respond. He says, one more thought. This could generate a diverse range of ages that view yours and my channel. Project B is a different type of content than yours and younger viewers can afford raps. Dude, let's blow it up. He put the bag and the money sign and then the peace sign. So I dropped the thumb down and he said, I hear you, thank you for responding. Okay, that's cool. But that whole contract and you trying to finesse 20%, 20%. <laughs> <laughs> like, I gotta finish reading guys so y'all can understand why I said, okay, so after that I said, bro, just chill. I'm a humble dude, but this ain't that. I ain't no fool. You don't wanna piss me off, bro. Like literally like, We've had discussions about stuff, so it's kind of like now you testing me, right? Testing my patience, bro. Like, I don't give a fuck how humble I am. You gotta remember, bro. I'm that shit still in me, and it ain't never gonna leave, bro. Like my temper is zero to a hundred instantly, guys. Like, y'all see me on the screen, but you really just don't know me, guys. Like, I'm, you just really don't know me. I don't gotta tell you I'm like shit. The people that know me know. Like, I don't like to be played with like that. So, you know, I kind of. I'm gonna finish reading, then y'all gonna see, then we can talk about it more. Okay, so it says, okay, but listen to this bullshit right here. Like, this shit pissed me off too. It says, okay, I apologize if asking for your support bothered you. When Coldwater's son asked me for support, I was honored and gave out his number to some of my good customers. That was it. That was the breaking point again to where I sent him the text I did and I blocked him because I don't even wanna talk to you no more after that. What the fuck? That got to do with anything, bro. Listen, I helped you by bringing my cars there, put you on my platform already. How am I not supporting you? I supported what you did, telling everybody, showing everybody your work, how good of a job you did. That shit is beyond me right there, guys. Like, I'm heated. I'm really, really heated. Jim, you know what? Yeah, I ain't gonna say it. But yeah, I'm a changed man now. So, you know, I'm just gonna pray for you. And I wish you uh, much success on your YouTube and your detailing journey. But okay, so after that, I said, I supported your business by bringing my cars there, putting you on my platform. But I don't know you like that to make up some imaginary contract. I'm not wrong. Like, listen, I said, I supported your business by bringing my cars there, putting you on my platform. But I don't know you like that, which is true. Like two weeks and you talking about contracts and like you got a little taste of Got a little taste of man, you know, um got a little taste of it, man, that life and shit, man. Some people just can't handle that. Like they lose their marbles, they lose their screws. It's not that serious. Like all you had to do is detail the cars, do what I ask you to do, you know what I'm saying? To the cars, I'ma pay you. I don't want shit free. I don't need discounts. I don't need none of that shit. I just need a good job done to my cars. I would have kept bringing you the cars. You would have kept growing, you would have kept doing the cars. But nah, people just you give them an inch, guys, they want a fucking yard. So yeah, like I ain't, this ain't that, bro. This ain't that. I don't care how nobody take it. I'm just telling y'all how I feel. Like, this ain't that. And if you was in my shoes, I'm pretty sure a lot of y'all would feel the same way. Y'all get tired of people just trying to use you and try to get over on you. And I ain't with none of that shit, bro. So, it says, all right, but I don't know you like that to make up some imaginary contract. Then I said, see, this is where it really get to me at. It said, I said, I'm gonna just read it all over because yeah, we getting lost. I want y'all to just feel this message right here and then try to understand guys. Like just, just try to feel me on this. Like I support your business by bringing my cars there, putting you on my platform, but I don't know you like that to make up some imaginary contract. Like I'm a fucking uneducated, stupid ass nigga or something. Good doing business with you. Hope you enjoy your life. That's just how I look at it. That's what I that's what I took from it guys like I'm some fucking fool some type of goofy like be for real bro like I don't like that guys and it it, just, it got me pissed off and um it took me over the top and I just blocked them like I don't even want to deal with them no more I'm cool bro I take my shit to PC get a wet sand and buff get that wet look take it to Chicago um the Chicago place where I 
get my PPF, which is better anyways, because that's the, the plastic over the car. You know what I'm saying? Look at the McLaren. The McLaren just killing everything I got right now, because the whole car, PPF. Like I said, I ain't trying to stop his business or take nothing from his from from his business, but at the same time, bro, don't don't play with me like that. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like I'm just some dumbass, uneducated ass nigga. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I just feel like he's at this point he was just trying to get over. And um, you know, shit shit went from you know being cool and being happy and being humble to doing a car to like some money shit. Like, I don't know, guys. Like, I don't be knowing what people think because I ain't never been that type of that type of motherfucker, bro. Like, I don't need to try to get over on nobody or nothing. If you're doing something for me, I appreciate it. I accept it. If you're doing something I see, I watch you and I learn from it. I ain't never trying to get over on the next person. So, you know, um, I wish him all the success and I handle this situation the best that I can. But at the same time, I got to put my foot down their throat and let them know, like, bro, this ain't that, bro. This is not that bro like that shit got me so heated and so annoyed bro and that's why i am the way i am guys that's why i don't do a lot of networking um it's why i don't got you know i don't get new friends like i don't really like being around people like that's just it's just me being honest like i don't because you just don't know like when you if y'all was in my shoes you probably can understand better but it's like if it's not genuine don't I don't want to be around you like don't fuck with me like don't come around and nine times out of ten that's how it be you know it's just like kind of like being at home now it's like you get a chain and you doing good and represent your city right but the whole time you hustling and grinding nobody noticed that from your city like your support coming from other places you know what i'm saying you got you got a few people here and there but but as you get bigger now it's you should buy this from your city or you should do this or you should do that man fuck that but even on my come up i stayed in in my neighborhood around the people i grew up with and it was never you should do this or do that because you niggas never supported me on my come up and y'all gotta understand that y'all gotta feel that like it's just a respect thing like if you ain't fuck with me then don't try to fuck with me now you know that i'm up because i ain't gonna fuck with you and it ain't me thinking i'm better than you is just you you wasn't there from the start like you ain't support me you, a lot of people probably ain't believe this or believe that you know what i'm saying so um if you ain't grind with me you can't shine with me and that's just that like it, anything i do i can do it on my own you know and i've always been that way y'all see i pick my camera up and i go out and i grind and i hustle every day i do this shit on my own you know with marty here without marty here we live in the bed we live outside with me i'm gonna make shit happen i can hold my camera um and i like doing what i do so uh, yeah, it's just like everybody see that life, but they 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 glorify the lifestyle over the work that went in and that still go in today to live the lifestyle because you can make money, but shit, you spending money, you gotta keep money flowing. You just gotta you gotta know how to manage shit, and it ain't easy, guys. It ain't easy waking up every day trying to make content, trying to um, you know be creative for your subscribers. It's not, it's not. Y'all know last month I. Basically, I gave up. Like, shit, I ain't finna post every day. I took damn near 20 days off, posted 10 videos, and yeah, I just didn't care. Like, I just, I was just overwhelmed. So, yeah, it can be overwhelming. But anybody out there, guys, don't let nobody fool you. Don't let nobody use you. And always remember, if you grind it for what you got, you don't owe nobody shit, bro. You don't owe nobody nothing. They're, they're gonna come. Like, no, they ain't gonna believe in you when you're grinding. But as soon as you get to shining, bro, you're gonna have. Oh, what's up, my boy? You remember me from hell? No, nigga, I don't remember you. Who is you? Like, you just got to be that way, guys. You just got to be that way. Because as y'all see, you give a person a little bit, and they want to take everything. Like, just chill, bro. All he had to do was just chill and continue to do what he was doing, which was a great job. I ain't, I can't take that from him. I'm not on here to bash him or lie. Uh, he did a great-ass job on the cars. And, you know, I thought we was building a friendship because we're not friends we don't know each other you know what i'm saying but we were starting to build a relationship or friendship i've known you for two weeks and you coming out talking about contracts this and all that shit man i don't like that shit bro like i just i'm built different guys i'm not that i'm not that i'm not some dumb negro bro like i ain't stupid bro so you know um this pretty much came from him you know, this all his doing, not my doing. And I just got to stand on business. I, I'm I'm big on that shit. Like, it's, it's just so much, guys. You know, y'all know how it is, man. You got to word shit a certain way because 
you've got subscribers of all races and people from all over and you just gotta break shit down in a different way as like if y'all was right here with me and we was talking i could really be like you know what i'm saying but y'all get what i'm saying like you just I, I i just hate i still feel like motherfuckers feel like we just dumb and we beneath them and we ain't got no education like nigga we not dumb i'm not fucking dumb you know how much money i deal with and how much bills and just so much shit that i deal with i'm super smart i'm street smart and i know the game bro you can't when a nigga i'm taking street smart over any smart you can't pull the shit pull that type of shit on a street smart dude like oh man guys i'm i'm pissed i ain't gonna lie i'm pissed i'm heated bro because it's like it, it just make it even harder now to build relationships with people like you just don't even want to put no spotlight on nobody and it sucks because i like helping people like i do i really really do like helping people like i don't take shit from it like i say i do i help a lot of people I do a lot of shit off camera. I got a lot of shit on my back. You know what I'm saying? I'm carrying a lot of weight. So it just take it just take like one person to ruin shit, bro. And it just be like that, man. Stop being fucking greedy, guys, and accept what it is, you know, for what it is. You, you never know down the road, you know, we could have did something. But not knowing me and just instantly just making up shit. Like, and then Man, I gotta find this, guys. Give me one second. I, I gotta find this because this shit, this shit make me mad too. So now he decides to come under my post and say, "CJ, no drama for me. I was looking for your support. I thanked you many times for coaching me. I started Project V myself and thought, who better to ask than a man who has done everything with cars, putting your stamp on Project V." with show support also i was willing to pay you for your support guidance yeah your 20 percent for your guidance and expertise i still think it's an honor to take care and i'll try and forge through project v alone okay good you got mine well whatever and then somebody commented he didn't have to post this so uh, whatever whatever you feel the way you feel i feel the way i feel if you don't see it the way i see it then hey that's just that's your problem shit i see it a different way and I ain't trying to hear that shit about he didn't need to do this or he didn't need to do that. No, fuck that. I needed to do I needed to do that. Like that shit is absurd. It really is. And everybody that's involved said that it was it was bogus. So you know I don't gotta please the masses. Motherfuckers understand and feel and see where I'm coming from. But if you if you want to stay stuck in a cage with your little bird brain ass and say, oh, he didn't need to say this or do that, well, then that's fine. Do it. That's you. Like, like I say, I can't say the shit that I want to say. I can't. I don't want to offend nobody. You know, I got support from a lot of different places. So, but uh, don't be dumb. Don't be dumb. Let's see. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, it's always going to be that one or two anyways that uh, disagree with how you go about it. But we can agree to disagree. Like I said, ain't no ain't no bad feelings or ill will towards them. But I just don't like that shit. And I'm just letting you guys know, like if y'all ask me or saying take the car to gym, that relationship. Once I'm done with you, I'm done with you guys. Like it, we really, it ain't no reason for us to reunite because now it's, like I can't trust you. Like after you break my trust, it's like I can't trust you. And it's it's a different type of trust. I can't trust them because I ain't gonna take my cars there now because I done let people know I don't deal with you no more and just uh, off of what you tried. Like I feel like greed getting away um, with a lot of shit. So even him coming back under the community, like contradicting himself. Like it, it don't make sense. You, what the fuck he say? Something about. support like i've been supporting you like that's what i don't understand how the fuck i haven't been supporting you since day one since you started doing my cars all this support 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 first off i'm paying you to do a job where the fuck is my support like what are you doing for me i'm paying you to do a job you're not doing this shit for free that's another thing guys people don't understand like you're not how the fuck are you helping me because 
Y'all know how many detailers wanna do my cars or, or wanna do something for free? It's like I'm paying you for a service. So you're not fucking helping me because I'm paying you. Like you're not helping me gain subscribers or gain extra money because I can go to other places that do good jobs. Y'all know, so it's like, support what? Like what are you doing to support me? People are always hollering their support shit. It's like, what are you doing to support me? I'm supporting your business by spending my money there. First off, taking my custom high-end cars there that I got a lot of money into, and I'm supporting you by putting you on my platform, telling people to go subscribe to your channel. Like, what the fuck, that ain't enough? Anybody? That ain't enough? Like, I don't, I don't know, guys. It's just, it's just a lot of weird shit and a lot of weird people, man. Like, the, the social media shit, this internet shit, it's just a lot, like a lot of weird, weird shit going on. And, um, I ain't the one, so go find somebody else to play with. Like I don't, like I said, I don't give a fuck how somebody take it. Like I had to make this video to let you guys know that watch me every day. I'm not going there no more, and I feel like he tried to play me, like I'm some goofy. So if you like people playing with you like that, of course we gonna not agree. Like if you like people playing with you in a certain type of way, and you you don't speak up for yourself, people gonna keep trying you. People gonna keep playing with you. It's kind of just like when I moved away and you knew somewhere and you gotta set an example so people know that oh he ain't fucking around cause they gonna keep doing it they gonna keep trying you so you know uh, I just I don't like nobody that try to get over on anybody guys you just you just gotta respect me you gotta respect where I'm coming from and shit that's that relationship it did as fast as it started so you know I'm cool like I'm my life gonna go on. I'm pretty sure his life gonna go on, and it is what it is, you know. Like I said, I wish him the best, but just don't, don't ever come at me like that, bro. Like I don't, I don't need you for shit. I don't, I don't need you for a platform that I that I spent seven years working on and, and building. I've got by seven years with doing what I do to my cars without, without him, you know. And it, it's just, a, it's about respect. It's a respect thing at the end of the day. Like you just don't you don't come at nobody like that. Talking about contracts and all this imaginary shit that's in your head because it's greed, guys. At the end of the day, you know what I'm saying? It's like motherfucker get a little taste of something and just want more and more and more. Well, you could have grind and got that. You you would have kept growing if you would have just shut up, not send me that shit. It just I don't know. Like I can't understand the mind frame of thirsty motherfuckers. Like, just chill out, bro. You could have just been doing the cars and, and growing, getting my money, and you never know. We could have developed a friendship or something. But now, it ain't no room for that because I'm straight, bro. Once I'm done, I'm done, guys. So, um, y'all might have not wanted to hear this rant, but shit, it needed to be said, needed to be done. This was, like I said, it wasn't my video today, but I got some shit on my mind. I don't got nobody to talk to. I don't got nobody to vent to but you guys. You know what I'm saying? So this is this is how I vent. This is how I get shit off my chest. Because usually if I do it another way, it's in a way that can get me in trouble. So I'd rather pick my camera up and talk to my subscribers because I know a lot of them out there listening. And then I can read some of their feedback. And then I can wake up the next day because I got it off my chest and go on with my life. Y'all already know as man, we just hold uh, a lot of shit in and when that shit come out it just be bad so i'm glad i got this platform and i am able to vent and get shit off my chest um when, I, when i'm going through shit you know so it is what it is guys back to the regular schedule tomorrow sorry i had to drop this video but uh like i said jim i'm pretty sure you watching it but you was just out of pocket bro and i don't care what nobody say to me you was out of pocket and i i feel like i feel like it was disrespectful and like the response was even more disrespectful. Like I ain't helping you. Like nigga, I don't owe you shit. I just hate when motherfuckers feel entitled to something, bro. That's that's like the worst, bro. You're not entitled to shit. Don't nobody owe you shit. You gonna get what you put in. You know what I'm saying? Like don't nobody owe you nothing. Me reaching my hand out was a blessing, period. I didn't need you to do my cars. I had your number and talked to you a year or two ago and you didn't do none of my cars so making me a business opportunity that i don't need and then talking about some 20 percent we about to end this video you can take that 20 percent and stick it up your ass 
that's just how I feel. Now, take it how you want to take it, but you don't even know, bro. You don't even know me. You don't know me like that, gang. That's all I'm saying. You don't know me, bro. Like, I ain't one of these dumb, goofy-ass N-words out here, bro. So, next time anybody out there, we do a business together, come correct. Like, don't play with me. You can't play with me how you play with a lot of people. Because I ain't going for none of that shit. So, with that being said, guys, um, yeah, we're going to wrap this video up. So we can get it up. We're gonna work on editing our tomorrow's video. We're just gonna be back into the flow of, of everything, guys. Um, I definitely appreciate the support. Like I said, if y'all wanna support him, support him. Like, shit, he do, he do great work. But it just won't have support for me of me taking my cars in no more. Cause once a relationship gone bad, that shit gone bad forever. Like, I don't need you. You, you don't, I'm pretty sure you don't need me, but I did help you. I helped you more than you helped me, so. Um, there's no nothing to benefit there guys always don't let no don't be beneficial to someone who can't be beneficial to you guys so um that being said i'm gonna end this video and i'm gonna catch y'all in the next video it's your boy cj on 32s checking out with another video i'm out man